Hi, welcome to our Heat Smart Alchemy case presentation. This is Group C10, and my name is Wei Mingpu. These are the contents we will show today, and I will begin with the core business problem we faced. Due to the fact that unbalanced relationship between demand and supply exacerbates the severity of renewable energy waste on the Alchemy L, our company is currently focusing on the DR scan which aims to reduce the renewable energy waste. More specifically, the system will install new electric heaters to the household on the island to see whether they could reduce or even balance the waste. Generally, through our analysis, we think this DR scam is definitely valuable and it is worthwhile to invest in this project because it is a great plan which can benefit our company Kaluza, local residents, and one turbine generator. For Kaluza, it will not only be a profitable program to operate in the future based on our ROI analysis, but also a program which can bring us great reputation and publicity. For residents on the aisle, they have a chance to improve their life quality without spending any extra money. For one turbine generator, they can save money from updating the capacity and also get more revenue. Thus, we suggest investing in this DR scam. We will get more details later. Next, I will pass to Philip to continue with the hypothesis and predictions. Thanks, Wei Ming. Next, we move on with our hypothesis and predictions. First, the higher the wind speed, the more power can be generated without human interruptions. Second, there exists unreleased energy and unconsumed supply energy, which eventually goes to waste. Third, we need at least 60% of the 10,385 households to be in our DR program to supply the level of DR we presume. Fourth, the higher the penetration rate, the more energy can be reduced. Fifth, our promotion plan will be profitable for extended periods. And finally, this DR scheme is the most profitable solution compared to other alternatives, such as enhancing the existing interconnectors. As we can see from the power curve, using the 10% quantile, we found that the minimum energy required for the turbines to start generating power is about five meter per second. And as the wind speed increases from five to 15.8 meter per second, the power increases sharply until the maximum capacity of 900, 900 kilowatt is reached. Also note that the turbines will be switched off due to safety concerns when the wind speed is over 25 meters per second. If we take a look at the monthly chart, we can see that it's more windy in winter time than summer. On a daily basis, we can see that the wind speed is the highest during noon and the lowest at midnight to early morning. Next, I will give it to Bing to explore our curtailment analysis. Thanks, Philip. So after the preparation, now we can start to explore curtailed energy in Alchemy in 2017. In the real world, curtailment is the energy which cannot be consumed or unreleased in order to balance supply and demand or due to transmission constraint. So in this case, we want to have a check whether curtailment from unreleased energy and unconsumed supply both exist. As can be seen, the average potential power has the highest value, and this number is estimated using our wind speed power model. Also, the actual power is much higher than local demand in Alchemy. Therefore, we can confirm that there are two sources of curtailed energy. Also, I want to mention that in our project, we only consider 50 wind turbines to estimate the power because this curtailed energy is totally enough for Kaluza to develop a profitable project. Now, we can see more details about the curtailments of these two parts. The first bar chart shows the unreleased power due to the set point, and we notice that there is more curtailed energy during the daytime, and this might be caused by the strong wind. In the second graph, we subtract exported power and the local demand from supply. 
So this part of the curtailment is lower than the previous one. Finally, we add these two parts of curtailment together, and we see that there is 17,650 megawatts hour curtailed energy in Alkani during the whole year of 2017. This is about 35 kilowatts hour for electric heater in each hour, and we notice that the curtailment during the peak time is much lower than other time periods. Now I will pass it to Zhixuan for DR penetration analysis. Thank you, Bing. I am Zhixuan and I will continue with the DR penetration rate. Based on the curtailment, we can calculate the DR penetration. It's the ratio that the number of households using Kaluza electric heaters to the total number of households. What's more, we need to identify the energy amount consumed by each electric heater. The average wattage for a space heater is 1.5 kilowatts. The average time span at home is 12 hours and the annual cold period is 210 days. Ideally, as DR penetration reaches 44.9%, involving 4,670 households, all curtailment would be consumed. For ROI analysis, return on investment is the ratio between net income and investment. The cost of investment is the initial installment of each device, 100 pounds. To calculate the net income, we identify the cash inflows, which is the revenue from selling the curtailed energy to the consumers with a discounted retail price, 140 pounds per kilowatt hour times a 50% discount. For energy spending in each household, we assume only 80% of heaters can work fully for 12 hours for 210 days. Cash outflows include the cost of buying energy from suppliers at wholesale price, 50 pounds per kilowatt hour, and the maintenance cost, 12 pounds per household every year. We assume it is a 10-year project, and using the 5% discount rate, we can get the ROI rate for each year. The system is worth investing in for the long run, and the rates keep increasing. To sum up, based on the ROI list, if the project is longer than five years, yes, we suggest investing in it. And in order to consume all the curtailment. The DR penetration rate needs to be 44.97%. Conducting the DR scheme is profitable compared to other alternative ways, such as upgrading the cable capacities, which would require over 300 million pounds. Choosing smart demand response scheme can make a win-win results for all parties involved, including Kaluza local community, and consumers. And that's all for our presentation. Thank you for your listening. If you are interested in our findings and suggestions, please contact us for further information. Thank you.